Welcome back to my channel. My name is Rayan and I love all things interior design, home decor, styling, staging. So what we're gonna do today is one of my favorite things to do and probably why we have moved so many times. I love looking on Zillow and when I look through pictures of a house, I can immediately see how things could be changed to make it either function better and look better and just be 10 times more amazing than it is. So what my hope is, is that by showing you some ideas, you can come up with budget-friendly ways to do some updates in your own home or maybe do a complete renovation, but just show you how things could be different in some of these houses that I found online. So we're gonna start with one today and I have my laptop here with me. All right, so this is the home's front living room, one of the first rooms you see when you walk in the door. And this is how they currently have it styled and staged. This is the back wall, which is a blue right now, but you can kind of tell that this home was probably built around the 1990s and hasn't had a lot of updates yet. So I wanna show you a few ways that we can make this home look amazing. Let's start with this one right here. Just lightening up the walls and the windows, painting those windows from that honey oak color to a white color would just brighten up the space. Another way that you could go is by painting the inside of the window frames black. It just makes such a statement and with the white walls just makes them pop. It also makes it more contemporary or modern. I kind of did this in one of my houses where I painted just the inside of the window trim. I didn't want to overkill it with the black and just have it be all over and too modern. So I just did this subtle one piece of the trim inside and it just took the room to a whole new level. Here's another one where the windows are black and they have some nice curtains. Curtains just help make a room extra cozy. All right, I love this picture. Look at that ceiling, it is beautiful. Some shiplap there with some painted beams. You can tell the ceiling has more of a glossy finish, which helps the light from the window reflect and bounce off of it. And that just helps make it look like the ceiling goes on forever. I love the fireplace too. You could easily put in an electric fireplace in any room of your house. And that just gives it that extra cozy vibe. I love this picture. Look at that fireplace. I did one similar in my own home. And what I did was I just painted the fireplace to make it look like cement. Definitely budget friendly DIY that you can do. I love the light fixture in this picture. It's that bubble light fixture. I had this in one of my houses too. And it just helps make it more modern. Well, some of the furniture pieces in that rug are, have just more of a traditional style, but really changing out your light fixture can make a huge difference. And I also love the beams in this one too. Beams are just a great way to elevate your ceiling and just make it look like a million bucks. If you really want to elevate this room, I have a wonderful idea and it is using grass cloth wallpaper. I think it would just make it look a little bit more elegant. This is the first room you're going to see when you walk inside the door. So that's always something to keep in mind. I love the way this grass cloth looks with the sconces and the black windows, but you have white molding everywhere too. Um, and what I love also is this grass cloth going from floor to ceiling. And then here's a good overall picture of how the grass cloth looks in this room. They even did a beautiful ceiling. And then this is fun if you wanna have like a few more pops of color, but you can kind of see how the grass cloth would look on the walls with adding some pops of color and it just kind of makes that a little bit more fun all right this was an image that i created and just to show you like how completely different a room can look with different furniture um, the walls being different this one has like a nice accent dark wall on it 
and the furniture just makes it look completely different than the first pictures that we saw. All right, one thing I think will make a huge difference in any room of your home is lighting. Whether it's a ceiling light or a lamp, I think that just sets the tone for the room. So if you have furniture that maybe you're not in love with or maybe it's a little bit outdated, try adding in maybe a more modern light fixture and that will really help elevate your room to the next level. All right, I wanna take you into the kitchen, the heart of the home. I love designing kitchens. So the front room leads to that blue wall on the back, and that leads to kind of a little sitting area in the kitchen, which I think is completely wasted space. And we're gonna talk about how we can change that up. And then that leads into the back dining room and living room. It's like a combined room together. Let's take a look at this kitchen. It is kind of a weird layout. It's like in the center of the home, which you don't normally see a kitchen like that, just kind of like surrounded by everything. Usually like it's tucked away in a corner. Um, you can see that there's a window by the sink and then there are two big doorways on either side. I think we can make this a ton better. And this is one where I would say you probably need to do a little bit of renovation if you really want to maximize the space that you have. Sometimes I think you can keep your kitchen layout, but for this one, I am going to recommend taking that extra space from the back, closing off the doorway that goes into that back dining room and living room. And I would make a more U-shaped kitchen by using that space. And here is one design that I absolutely love. So it would kind of look like this. Because the current kitchen is in the middle of the house, you're not gonna have windows right there. So keeping it kind of light and bright like this is gonna help because you won't have a ton of natural light in there. This is another one. It is a little bit more elegant. I love this. I love that focal point of where the stove is and just the surround around that. But again, nice and light and bright in that U shape where we can really take advantage of all the space in this kitchen. Here's another design if you kind of want to go a little bit more modern with your cabinets. Um, you can see like those wood cabinets, they don't have any handles or knobs on them, but the size of this island might be more of what you're going to get, but such a statement piece and I love how they laid that one out. Remember that front room, we like are maybe doing a grass cloth with it. And so in here, it might be nice to kind of have some moody colors and just make it a little bit different. But I love that they have the lighter cabinets too, to kind of contrast with it. And then the bar stools really help bring it all together. They add just a nice softness to it. If you really want to go for fun, I like this one with these kind of teal cabinets, but even if you went with a green color too, that would be really pretty, just tying everything together. But again, you can kind of see like this U shape that we're going for. Here is another one, a little bit more elegant and probably similar size with the white cabinets and the dark gray cabinets, gorgeous together. And then I also love this one, the statement of the black vent hood and then the white cabinets and i just i love the white cabinets with the wood ones i'm pretty sure that's what i'm gonna do in my next kitchen let's go to the larger living room and combined dining room again we have the honey oak windows which you can totally paint i'll show you some examples um and just kind of you know more outdated furniture a more traditional style so let's see what we can come up with for this room. I love this picture. This is from Liz Marie blog, which her store is actually 20 minutes away from me. I've been there a few times. Absolutely love it. I have not seen her there yet though. Nice and cozy. You can see how the windows are all white, just brightening up the space, fresh coat of paint and keeping the furniture light. It just has like a nice airy feel to it. 
This one, you can see they added curtains and that gives it that cozy vibe. This is more of like the Studio Mickey vibe that everybody loves. All right, and then let's take a look at what it would look like if those windows were black. I absolutely love pops of black. It just gives some dimension to the room and then adding the curtains makes it cozy. You can see they probably have a dining table behind this couch because there's a beautiful chandelier over there. One idea you could do is adding beams to this room, kind of like what we talked about with the front room. Um, but here, you know, nice, warm, kind of creamy walls, a curtain that's a slightly different color. You can see we're having some more moodiness in some of the pillows and the coffee table, just some of those darker wood tones. This one is so fun and I love, like it's just a little bit more modern, kind of something you would see like in a model home. I love walking through those. Some nice gray paint on the walls, love it. This one, I absolutely love the ceiling. A coffered ceiling, not gonna be super budget friendly. You could try to do it, but it is just stunning. I love these ceilings. They are just beautiful. And you can see like all those similar windows in this picture. Again, they're painted white. It just helps it nice and bright. And then this one also has a coffered ceiling with the fireplace. If you were to add a fireplace in that front room, I probably wouldn't add one back here. Honestly, I would more likely add it in the front room because I kind of feel like that would be your, like, I'm gonna watch TV at night room. And then this back room is more of your entertaining room with the dining table in it. Love this ceiling too. You could just take pieces of thick wood and paint them white. I love the texture that it gives the ceiling. It draws your eye up, but it makes it like so cozy too. And then again, they have the white windows, which just helps keep it bright and open and neutral. Another idea would be to do some darker beams on the ceiling. I love the added can lights. This one has gray walls with the black windows. They have some colorful furniture pieces and a darker sideboard over there just gives it a completely different feel than some of the other pictures. This one, again, with the white windows, they did have that fireplace. I just wanted to show it because I think the stone is gorgeous. I would always opt for an electric fireplace. It is so much cheaper to put in than gas if you don't have a fireplace already. And then this one with the stone fireplace and the coffered ceiling together, and then the black windows. I just love it. All right, this one is a little bit more elegant with the white neutral couch, you have the neutral pillows, but you have pops of gold, and then that rich wood wall in the back. All right, let's take a look at the little dining space in this room. I would probably keep the table fairly simple like this because you don't want it to be like the main focal point. You want it to blend in with the living area, just so the room looks like it's like one seamless, cohesive room that really flows together. So I just picked out a few things where, you know, the table is simple, the chairs are fairly neutral, but then where I think you can really make it shine is with some of the light fixtures that you choose. So like these ones are more of that rattan. They have a little bit of gold on them too. I love that there are two of them here, just kind of like more simple, but yeah, it just still gives a statement. You could do something like this gold one. This is from Wayfair, super popular. They have it in black too. It would just make it a little bit more elegant. I love it though. This one I love and this would be for the living area of this room. There is currently a ceiling fan there and you could easily change that out for a light fixture. I think I might actually use this light fixture in my next house because we have very high ceilings and vaulted and I absolutely love that light fixture. But it just makes such a statement piece, whatever light fixture you have in your home. Here are some fun ones that I created just so you could get an idea of a few different styles. Again, this one keeps the ceiling fan. I would probably replace it unless you live somewhere that's pretty hot, but look at this one with the black windows. And then this one you can see has like a really fancy light fixture over the table and it just makes it look completely different. 
Um, and then they have some pops of blue in here too with the pillows and the ottoman there. This one has the dark floors, which I know lighter floors are in right now. It does give it a more elegant vibe and feel when you have these dark floors, but that is just like gorgeous. Love this one. It has like the orange velvet ottoman and the burnt orange pillows on the couch. You could even switch out that ottoman for like a camel colored leather ottoman. That would be gorgeous, but just like those windows, I love that subtle pop of black. It's not the whole window and it just like makes it have a different feel than painting the whole window black. And I love just the insides being black like that. Um, and then here's another one where they have a shiplap done on the ceiling and I love it. It kind of gives it that cottagey feel in this room. But again, I think that is because of the furniture that they picked out. If you did a different rug, different flooring, different chair, I think it would make it look completely different. So you can really take that in any way you want. This was more of a coastal vibe, but again, you can see the shiplap on the ceiling and it's kind of like a minty green color. They have some pops of blue in there, but it just takes it from being like a little bit more formal to way more casual. And I just thought that was a fun one. All right, we are gonna come over to the side of the living room that we are in right now and I love this and I wish my house had this. We're gonna see like a nice beautiful bookcase here that leads into like I don't know, a wine bar or a coffee bar, drink bar. I think it's amazing. But let's talk about this bookcase really quick. I think it would be fun to have a beautiful wallpaper in the back of this bookcase and then maybe paint it like this taupey gray is really beautiful. It goes with the wallpaper. Just, you know, something different than just the plain white to just make it kind of stand out a little bit. All right, let's talk about this coffee bar wine room. I wanna walk through how we can make this room just look completely amazing. Let's start with an idea. This backsplash, it is like a vintage mirror backsplash. You can actually DIY this. You can do this so easily easy and it would just take the back of the wall in this coffee bar to the next level. I think it kind of gives it a classy, elegant look. And because there's not a ton of natural light in this room, whatever light is coming from those few windows and the ceiling lights, it's just gonna pop off that glass make it bounce around the room and make it look amazing. Moody rooms are definitely in right now and I think this room would be a great one to kind of take that moody vibe and run with it. You could do the cabinets in a beautiful like dark gray and even do the walls the same color. I love the backsplash on this one. It's just like a little different. Um, I wanna show you a few different styles of backsplash that you could possibly do in here. This beautiful green with a hint of blue. I love it. And those are a two by 10 inch tile. And I love the longer, skinnier look of those. If you want to try a budget friendly option, this is a peel and stick tile that I saw from Home Depot. It looks like this when it's done. This would be great for a coffee bar area or even in a bookcase. Um, if you wanted to do it like in a half bathroom, like if you need to do it behind a sink or behind a mirror area. So I'm going to link this and a few other things I can in the description below for you. All right, let's talk about light fixtures. I loved this one for this room. It just stood out. If you have the gold accents in the hardware, I think it would just look beautiful together. They even have that vintage mirror with this one and I love how it looks together. Another thing I love is the shelves behind it, the glass with the gold. There's something about those that just scream like drink station to me, like elegant drink coffee, wine, bar, whatever it is. I love the glass and the gold together. Um, and then I had fun playing around with my own designs. This is an idea that you could do if you don't wanna take it like too dark and moody. The gray cabinets with the white countertop and then adding the wood to kind of warm it up a little bit. And then I love this one too, the lighter cabinets, but maybe going a little bit darker with the backsplash. 
I hope you enjoyed this video. Got some amazing ideas on how you can kind of take your home to the next level. And I cannot wait to see you again soon. Have a great day.